catching Super Heavy and then reflying it within just 37 days. That was SpaceX's biggest achievement with Starship last year. But guess what? That record may soon be shattered. Yes, SpaceX is gearing up for an even crazier turnaround time with flights 8 and 9, pushing the limits like never before. And they're not stopping there. Bold new plans are on the horizon. So what exactly is SpaceX planning? How are the preparations coming along? Let's dive right on in on today's episode of Great SpaceX to find out. Once again, we have to look back at the incredible feat SpaceX achieved late last year. On October 13th, with Flight 5, SpaceX successfully recovered the Super Heavy Booster for the first time, using the most challenging method, landing with the Mechazilla arms. This was a crucial step toward proving the viability of this innovative landing approach and unlocking the full potential of Starship's reusability. Just over a month later, on November 19th, SpaceX launched Flight 6, marking the fastest turnaround in the program's development just 37 days between flights. This wasn't just a record for Starship, but a remarkable achievement for any rocket still in development. However, if there's one thing we know about SpaceX, it's that they never settle. They're always pushing for faster, bolder, and more ambitious goals. And now, we're on the verge of witnessing yet another breakthrough. The highly anticipated Flight 8 is currently scheduled for February 28th. If there are any delays, it might slip into early March, but the focus is now entirely on this upcoming launch. However, an exciting new development has just emerged. SpaceX has received an FCC license for Starship Flight 9, and the first major detail stands out. The start date of operations is listed as March 14th. For those who might not remember, March 14th was the launch date for Flight 3 last year. While the FAA ultimately determines the launch approval, the FCC license is still a strong indicator of what to expect. Notably, the FCC license for Flight 8 started on February 24th, just four days before the anticipated launch. If this pattern holds, Flight 9 could be much closer than we initially thought, possibly even launching within March. Now let's talk about the mind-blowing possibility this presents. If Flight 9 lifts off as early as March 14th, the turnaround time from Flight 8 would be an astonishing 14 days. That may be an optimistic scenario since it's an extremely aggressive timeline, but even if it launches on the last day of March, it would still be just 31 days apart. My personal prediction, a launch around the 21st of March, less than a month after Flight 8. No matter what, it's looking more and more likely that SpaceX will shatter last year's 37-day turnaround record. This rapid cadence is a major stepping stone towards SpaceX's ultimate goal. The company is targeting 25 Starship flights throughout 2025, ramping up to an incredible 400 flights per year within the next four years. In the more distant future, we could see multiple starships launching every single day. But it's not just about frequency. These flights are becoming more complex and ambitious. Flight 8 will follow a similar sequence to Flight 7, refining key objectives like deploying payloads, reigniting the engines in space, and attempting another super heavy landing with the Mechazilla arms. However, new upgrades will also be put to the test, especially with ships re-entry and landing. The V2 updates, including improved flaps and a more resilient heat shield, will be crucial. Additionally, SpaceX must verify fixes for the issues that arose during Flight 7. This makes Flight 8 a pivotal transition point in the Starship program, combining both established and new mission goals. So what about Flight 9? Many initially assumed it would involve another ocean landing for ship, serving as a final rehearsal before an actual Mechazilla catch attempt. But the FCC license has just revealed a game-changing possibility. Under the Purpose of Operations section, the document states, the first stage booster and the second stage will either return to the launch site or perform a water landing. Yes, you read that right. 
While the wording leaves room for multiple possibilities and interpretations, this is the first time an official document has even suggested that ship could return to the launch site. If this is indeed SpaceX's plan, it would mean a full recovery attempt for both the booster and ship, potentially making Flight 9 the first complete reusable Starship mission in history. To prepare for this, SpaceX has already been reinforcing ship with crucial modifications. If Flight 9 successfully lands both stages with Megazilla, it would mark a historic moment, proving full reusability for a space launch system, something no other company or space agency has ever accomplished. The next few weeks will be thrilling as SpaceX pushes the boundaries of what's possible with Starship. Will they break the turnaround record? Will Flight 9 be the first fully reusable mission? The potential for history-making moments is higher than ever. If you're as excited as I am, <laughs> well, drop a wow in the comments. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX's groundbreaking journey. Now, for SpaceX to achieve its ambitious goals, several key factors must align. First and foremost, the success of the upcoming Flight 8 is crucial. The results of the mission will directly influence the timeline and objectives of Flight 9. Initially, Flight 8 was expected to be the first attempt at catching Starship using the Mechazilla arms, but issues encountered during Flight 7 forced a change in plans. Now, SpaceX must first master several critical objectives before advancing to the next phase. The primary goal remains securing a successful Super Heavy landing on Mechazilla. While SpaceX has already achieved successful soft landings twice, Refining this process is essential to ensure reliability for future missions. Perfecting this maneuver will pave the way for more ambitious recovery strategies. Next, SpaceX must demonstrate its ability to complete key orbital operations. These include deploying payloads and successfully relighting a Raptor engine in space two tasks that will be integral to many future missions. The ability to relight engines in orbit is especially critical for refueling operations, deep space missions, and even lunar landings. By prioritizing these objectives now, SpaceX can shift its focus to improving reentry and landing procedures in future flights. Speaking of reentry, this phase will be one of the most scrutinized aspects of Flight 8. The upgraded flaps and reinforced heat shield must withstand the extreme conditions of atmospheric reentry. If successful, SpaceX can use the data to refine Flight 9, which could potentially mark the first attempt at catching Starship with the Mechazilla arms. However, before that step, a controlled ocean landing must first be perfected. This test will provide valuable insights into Starship's descent and stabilization capabilities, ensuring the flaps and engines are functioning optimally before incorporating the chopsticks into future recovery plans. All of these factors make Flight 8 a pivotal mission. Its results will dictate whether Flight 9 can launch soon after and incorporate the long-awaited catch attempt. Beyond the mission objectives, the timeline for Flight 9 will also depend on the readiness of the necessary hardware. Both S-35 and B-16, the Starship and Super Heavy booster assigned to the flight, must be fully tested and integrated before launch. As of now, production of these vehicles appears to be complete. B-16 is expected to begin cryogenic testing soon, ensuring its structural integrity under extreme conditions. Afterward, it will return to the production site to receive its Raptor engines before undergoing static fire tests. S-35 will follow a similar path, though its static fire test will likely take place at Massey, allowing for more flexible scheduling. Both vehicles must complete their respective tests efficiently to stay on track for an early launch window. Meanwhile, SpaceX is also making rapid progress on ground infrastructure. Beyond the routine refurbishment of Pad A, attention is now shifting to Pad B which has just received a significant upgrade. The chopstick arms, which will eventually catch Starship, have been fully installed. Additionally, in the latest update, a water tank for Pad B's deluge system has arrived, signaling that final installations are nearing completion. Once the infrastructure is in place, Pad B must undergo extensive testing to ensure it's fully operational and ready for the high-stakes catch attempt. With so many moving parts, Flight 9's schedule remains fluid. However, if everything proceeds smoothly, hardware tests, ground system upgrades, and Flight 8's success, 
It's entirely possible that Flight 9 could take off by late March. That would be a game changer. If SpaceX follows through with its plan to execute multiple high-risk objectives in such a short time frame, we could witness one of the most exciting test flights in Starship's development history. Are you ready for it? Let us know in the comments and stay tuned for what's next. And for our final bit of today's update, which is also related to upcoming launches, let's take a moment to talk about China's ambitious Tianwen-2 mission. According to recent updates, Tianwen-2 is set to be a groundbreaking mission focused on collecting and returning samples from a near-Earth asteroid. On the 20th of this month, the China National Space Administration announced that the spacecraft had been successfully delivered to the Xichang Satellite Launch Center, marking a major milestone in its preparation. As for the launch timeline, CNSA has now a more flexible schedule for the first half of this year. This is a slight shift from the previously estimated launch window of May 2025. The mission will still be launched aboard a Long March 3B rocket, and according to the latest reports, everything is in good condition, with testing currently underway. Tianwen-2's primary target is the asteroid Kamaolewa, or 2016 HO3, a small near-Earth object measuring between 40 and 100 meters in diameter. This asteroid is particularly fascinating because it is believed to be a fragment of the moon, possibly ejected into space after a collision. If this theory is correct, studying its composition would provide critical insights into lunar history and future lunar exploration. The spacecraft aims to collect and return 200 to 1,000 grams of material by 2020. After completing this mission, the main spacecraft will continue its journey to study 311P slash Pan Stars, a main belt comet. Beyond its scientific goals, Tianwen-2 represents an important step in China's broader Tianwen program. Tianwen-1, launched in 2020, successfully sent the Zhu Rong rover to Mars. Following Tianwen-2, the program will move to even more ambitious projects. Tianwen-3, scheduled for 2028 or 2030, will attempt to return samples from Mars, while Tianwen-4 is expected to send spacecraft to explore Jupiter and Uranus. Clearly, China is advancing rapidly in space exploration. I can't wait to see how NASA and SpaceX respond to these daring moves. The future of space exploration is shaping up to be incredibly exciting. And this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly in the latest details of SpaceX's progress. Thank you so much for tuning in, and remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will always follow you as long as you keep looking up.